for a giveaway. And Gordon Strachan sticks with his own. Lee Hughes, the £5 million redhead replacement for John Hartson. With West Brom, the visit to Edgeley Park had become an annual outing for Hughes. But for those through the away turnstiles yesterday, the trip to Manchester took on a whole new meaning. It's not a culture shock, it's football's football. And uh, I played in this division. I loved it. If you love football, you play anywhere. No culture shock. We're, we're where we are because we deserve to be here. It's up to us to do something about it. Umbrella payments from the Premiership are of little use when you're sat in the open end, but there's confidence amongst the Coventry faithful that Strachan can weather this most recent storm. Him and the chairman have got a great relationship, and, uh, and yeah, he's made a few mistakes. I don't think he's quite there tactically. I'm very confident this season, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll do it first time. I think the team's probably stronger now than it was at the end of last season, I think, probably. The sign of Hughes and O'Neill as well. Keith O'Neill. Keith O'Neill, yeah. It's pace in a striker that demands a premiership price tag. There's no denying that Hughes has an abundance of that. But there's more to the 25-year-old than just a turn of speed. No better way than an opening goal of a new era to endear yourself to the fans. But if Coventry are to bounce straight back, they'll need more than just the firepower of Hughes. A supporting cast of goal from midfield is essential. David Thompson just a hand away and a starry role that Lee Carsley stole just a minute later. Hughes hadn't so much been upstaged as momentarily robbed of the spotlight, but there was much to suggest that he and Coventry could be on course for nationwide top billing. I mean, it's great. I mean, 